Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Cave Story Plus. Last time we left off, we found Sue's mother who gave us the moving rest and took away our jetpack so she could finish off this rocket. So now what we gotta do is help find the uh, last couple of components and actually finish making this rocket. So let's head off to, I believe we have to go to, um, over here to the Mickey camp back again. Kill all these enemies in my way. Kind of like none of them, especially this one right here die all those little green bastards I hate them too <laughs> yeah uh oh oh uh. yeah those en yeah these those green enemies they don't hurt you unless they run into you like if they're standing still you run into them you won't take damage unless they're like running at you full force and that's a different story I guess that, that's what counts as an attack I don't know why I keep missing the same fucking jump there we go oh come on huh there you go do, 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 do. What you gotta do is talk to this dude right here. He'll say the sprinkle is broken and then he'll tell you to take it. So you take the broken one and you come inside the uh, the Mimika Shack area, the rest area, to where you can then talk to this dude and he'll give you a new sprinkler. And with the new sprinkler, you don't bring it back to the dude. What you do is you take it. Oh, look. Whoops. No. Okay, yeah. Can you not? Thank you, fam. Yeah. Platforming at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Don't want to fight you. Then you take this all the way back to Sue's mom. Then once you give her the sprinkler, she'll tell you that um, she'll need another last component from some dude named Iowa or Itoa, I forgot his name. But uh, remember that dog dude that we saw earlier? Yeah, we gotta go to him. I think my headphones are messing up. I'm not even sure right now. Cause like, it sounds weird. Like it's, I don't know. Maybe it's my, maybe it's just my wires, who knows. But um, come over here, talk to this dude. And then he'll pass you the control module. Or the controller, I should say. Then we come all the way back. I think I've gotten all I could get right now. I mean, there's one other thing in this area, but we'll get that um relatively soon. As soon as we're done with this rocket, actually. So then we talk to her again. Then she'll tell you to go take a nap. Take a nap. She'll take the rocket outside. When you wake up. Save your game. Step outside the doors. Now, all we gotta do is talk to her. So you can get your, um, your booster version 2.0 back. Uh, so when you get your booster back, just make sure you uh, re-equip it because e yeah, it's not equipped to you technically in the, in the game's terms So you gotta like actually re-equip that thing back to your back uh, I already got the iron bomb, which means I don't need to do the curly thing quest By the way guys all this is pre-recorded so if you have any comments questions or concerns Yeah, I'm not gonna know until like after I already done beating the game so if you'd be like, oh, you probably missed something, or oh, you didn't show off this or that. Yeah, it's kind of too late for that, guys. I'm sorry. I have to kill that whole bat and his family. All right, so when you get on this rocket, you activate it. Do not, under any circumstances, move until this part right here. When it pushes you up, move to the left. Because if you don't, you're going to get crushed by those um, presses down there, and you just, you're just not going to have a good time. A black wind blows through your body. All weapons drop to level one. But that doesn't matter to me because I have the spur. And you saw how it said the last cave hidden? Well, basically, there's two versions of this cave. I think there's three. I'm not, I'm not uh, entirely sure. But um, you can only get the hidden version if you got the true ending. Well, if you're on your path to the true ending. So, yeah. This is the hardest version of this area, actually. Don't touch the red water. I forgot about that. 
to be honest i just walked in there because i'm just i'm just kind of stupid but yeah this is the hardest version of this place sporting all types of spikes and traps to try and murder your face I, oh 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 that was kind of clutch e. i think um when Nicol Nicol Nicolas or Nicholas uh, announced the multiplayer um, update for this game. They showed off this area, and it was the true, um, the hidden version of it. And I was like, "Wow, I can't imagine doing this with anybody that I know because, um, yeah, we probably might get stuck because <laughs> this place is not that easy." The reason why I'm pacing through it pretty fast is because you know I played this game so many goddamn times. Like, this is like my religious game. I'm on a road trip, I play this game. If I'm just bored for whatever reason, I play this game. It's just it's it's easy. Light work. Thing is gonna break. I guess I can use this for rockets. I don't know. I'm not I'm not really gonna use the rockets that much now that I realize it. Like, cause I have the spur. The spur is all you need. I mean if you want to use other weapons, go right ahead. I ain't gonna stop you. Trust me. Some of these other weapons do still kick ass, even if you got the end game uh best weapon you know oh my god that should not have killed me no I refuse back to where I was Like, this part is not even that hard. You just gotta boost through it, but you gotta know when to boost. And that's pretty much it. I don't know. Everything else is easy. And now we're on the balcony, which is the surface of the island. And all these ravaged mamigas, I just had to blatantly murder because, you know. If you're in my way, you gotta die. Come inside the shed. Well, this is the professor's house. This is his memo. Further investigation of the island is feasible. Da -da 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 -da. He developed two versions of the booster. If you were able, to, as long as I can survive, version 2.0 will be completed. So, um, if you had gotten the regular ending, you would see that. You'd be like, oh, so if I figure out how to make him live, then I would have gotten the better booster. Basically, all you have to do is just ignore him, honestly. Which is why that red mark is there. But it's like, man, hard to make that jump sometimes. Alright, listen, listen. See, if that had scraped me, there would have been a problem. Now, if you come up here. Free upgrades. Bow. So, if you want to level up all your weapons and gear, well, at least most of them, I should say. And here's where you do it. But, um, I don't know why I'm doing it now, because I don't... I'm not gonna use any of these other weapons that I have on me, to be completely honest. Oh, hi, Misery. It's you again. You really are tenacious to destroy the core. Is that why you're here? Before, I thought you were a reckless robot, a little... Reckless, uh, reckless little robot, but I underestimated, underestimated you. Uh, I can't talk. <laughs> but yeah, now she's about to fight me, because she has to obey the doctor's orders. We must save my family. Uh. Ooh. Yeah, she's not really much of a threat. Like, honestly, all you gotta do is just dodge everything. Like, she has only three attacks where she summons blocks. She sum she summons blocks. She'll summon um three black orbs that are homing attack you if they um if they're above you, which means you just gotta keep running to the side. And um I and then she just spawns enemies, that's pretty much it. Other than that, there's really nothing much to that fight. 
it's the, it's the next three fights that we're about to get into is about to be a problem. So the doctor over here took all the red flowers and condensed them into a crystal. And basically this crystal just makes you super inhuman. Like, you'll see what I mean. E. I mean, just because you're superhuman doesn't mean I can't kick your ass. Just saying, fam. Sometimes it's kind of hard to hit him because that's, that damn crystal can actually deflect your shots. I mean, you can still clip him good if you know how to aim. And also, the uh, the crystal only does one point of damage, so don't worry about taking too much damage if, you, if that thing hits you. Like, it's, it's not going to one-shot you or do so much that it may come close to killing you. Maybe if you were like on one HP, you somehow got hit by that, then yeah, I would feel bad for you. I, I would tell you to delete your game instantly. Let me stop. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, this, this fool ain't really that much. All he does is jumps towards you, teleports near you, charges at you, and then summon those horde of bats. Like, he, all these bosses aren't as hard as they used to be when I, when I first played it. I know that for a fact. Cause when I got to this part, oh my god, the amount of times I died. <laughs> the thing that wasn't that good at the game. I think you talk to this purple one, and um, all these female amigas are gonna end up liking you because they're gonna be like you're strong like Arthur. So then you can gather hearts, well their hearts, which counts as health. Yay, and they're all blushing. Ew, it's kind of gross. Don't you think? Wow, come here. There we go. All right. Time for some fun. Hold it right there. <gasps> all right, listen, listen, misery. We can talk about this, all right? You don't have to go on offer. We'll make a deal. You can fall to you doing with the island, or you can figure out about everything here and leave. If you leave here right now, I'll guarantee her life. Otherwise, I won't let you escape. Yeah, who is there? Uh oh. Whoa, okay, I could have sworn I murdered you fam Yeah, the red crystal is not as bad as I thought it was. I mean, it's not as weak as I thought it was damn So basically he's semi immortal Or at least his consciousness is just stupidly overpowered at the moment So yeah, he was supposed to die, but he just did it until you die, you will be my puppet. And then he transforms Misery into whatever that monstrosity is. Sue tries to run away, and the Red Crystal gets her. Oh, you sick fuck. And he took over the core. Best strat, come all the way back here and try to knock Sue out. Because once you knock Sue out in the fight, she'll, she'll stop fighting you. Like, honestly. Also, if you hit Misery, she'll summon um, she'll summon enemies to come and fight you. So just like be careful of that. But just actually, actually no, you might want to do that sometimes because um, these, these enemies can actually drop you health if you need the health. Because again, you do not want to use your health pot you got from goddamn Impa, not Impa, fuck um from um, what's her face? Fuck her damn name already. But uh, yeah, you don't want to use the health pack just yet. It ain't time. Okay, Sue's out for a count, so now I just gotta worry about Misery and the Undead Core. Which is honestly an easy fight. Just charge up your spur, wait until he opens his face, shoot him. Now he's in the second phase where he's gonna start shooting Mega Balls of Death and Destruction. Remember those shots? Yeah, those things. Those hurt. And they still hurt. So don't get hit, please. But other than that, he's, he's a pretty easy fight. Like, he's not really much of a threat to me. Like, come on, guy. You destroyed the Undead Core. But because we destroyed the core, now the island is falling.
Now we gotta get out of here. By the way, try to keep as much health as you can going back to the shed. Cause um shit can get nasty pretty fast. Step inside here. And the final area is waiting below. The two non encounter has activated. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the final area of the game the Blood Stained Sanctuary. The difficulty spikes of all difficulty spikes. Like, trust me and believe me, this area is gonna kick your ass. If you, if you didn't think the game was kicking your ass before, oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, and now the game is telling us some story about a dude named Balos. He was a king who had magical, no, he was a, um, I think he was a royal, he was a royal mage who had powers just like Jenka. Now I remember her name, who had powers just like Jenka. And um, thing is though, the king got jealous of him because of all the shit that he can do. So what he did was he ended up torturing him, which caused him to go insane. And when he went insane, it caused him to basically kill everyone in the kingdom, even the ones that he loved. So because of that, this happened, Jenka had to seal him away on the island. But Misery, who is also Jenka's daughter, created something called the, um... Shit, it's the uh, the demon crown, I believe it was called. And with that, um, Balos used it to take control over uh, Misery and Balrog. So now he's just sitting at the core, just waiting for someone to end his life, pretty much, because he can't die. Like he can't ever die. So you know, I'm getting hit by things I shouldn't be getting hit by. It's some bull. But yeah, basically, you're just. On our way to kill him right now. Oh, but basically, this this is just like the fun part of the game. Like this is this is fun. Okay, I know I shot you. So the fact. All right. So since he hit me, I'm just fight through the spikes because I have invincibility frames. Okay, I should not be taking this much damage. Yeah, be careful when you're dealing with this area because you're going to need as much health as you can by the time you get to the end part of this uh, whole area because, oh, oh, boss rush. Ow. And not the boss rush that you think it is. Trust me, it's not. Okay, can I get this chest, please? There, missile expansion. So if you need, so if you want to use your missiles, feel free to do so. I'm gonna just stand right here and just keep spamming the Y button. Why? Because I'm trying not to die. Yeah, whoever uh, possesses the um, the crown has control over everything, and the crown can't ever be destroyed. However. Now this boss is called Heavy Press, if I'm mistaken, and um, basically all you gotta do is shoot him in the weak spot, which is up directly up above you. Twin shots do the best. I mean, if you want, you could change to your nemesis that you got. By the way, once you kill him, do not touch him at all. His hitbox works as those heavy presses that killed me in the area earlier on when I was going through like the last cave. Yeah, don't, don't, don't touch him, cause he will off you like instantly. You can come in this area over here. And destroy these statues. These are the statues of those before um, the doctor. And the doctor also has a statue. I don't know when he made that, to be honest. But uh, I'm going to need to remove all those. Thank you very much. Uh, I guess I can level up to level 2. I might I might use them. I doubt it, though. The corridor. And a magical puppy. Please kill my master. Doing so will liberate misery from her eternal curse. This is the only way... That the uh, resurgence of the tragedy can be stopped. My master's name is Balos. He is a man who cannot die. His magic is beyond any control. Hmm. And now we're in the sealed chamber. 
I'm charging my gun so that way when we start this, I can just off him. Welcome. I am Balos. Long, long ago, I allowed my drive for magical power to grow recklessly without fear of enduring any retribution. A magic so powerful that even its own master was helpless to contain it. So furious and unstoppable was this force that its fire consumed the child who adored me and the wife who loved me. They were swallowed by its flames and suffered dearly. All because of my selfish transgressions. My eyes were fixed or, infix, or were fixed, and I was unable to turn away from the fire yonder created with my own magic. I could only laugh then. Jenka sealed me away with my magic raging more violently with each passing minute. I've waited long for this, for the person who will bring my immense magical fury to its end. Now kill me, or I will kill you! I recommend you switch to the spur, because the um, spur just does more damage outputting uh, without having the charge, um, not the spur, the, um, uh, the nemesis, because the nemesis does more damage with each shot instead of, uh, you know, having a way to charge up your shots, especially when you uh, do the double shot upwards with uh, Curly, yeah, that does some serious damage, like this part right here, just do that, that's it, done, phase one, it's time for phase two, he's gonna jump up, Move from that cursor, because he's going to summon this thing. Charge up your spray, go into his eyes, and shoot him. This does, like, triple the damage of what the number of shot would do to his eyes if you were to try to aim for him there. I'm doing this completely wrong, but I'm just trying to make sure I don't die, because uh, Recording's Curse likes to get people. There we go. Phase 2 down. Phase 3. All you gotta do for this part is just destroy him. Oh god, I'm about to die. Not yet. Okay. Now you can use your damn health pot if you got to this part. Because this is literally... The final countdown. You can only shoot him through the gaps in between those balls. I recommend not touching the balls at all. And just be careful of all those damn cherubs or angels trying to shoot you and shank you and shit. Because they're mad annoying. But, I think it's time for me to end your life right now. And that's it. We have beaten Cave Story. It stopped. The island has stopped falling. Was the negative power weakened with this defeat? I don't really get it, but whatever, maybe, whatever, maybe our work here is finally over. Can't breathe. What? Hot. I. Hot. So painful. Huh? Whoa. Help. Can't breathe. So hot. Yeah, we about to be crushed. Hey. Hey, look, it's Balrog. There you are, just like Misery said, you came here to save us. Hold on tight. Here we go. How's your head? A little beat up. <laughs> uh, close. Such a narrow escape. I thought I was scrap metal this time. Looks like we owe you yet another one. There's no need for that. I did what Misery asked. Misery, as in that witch? Yep. Doesn't she hate us? Wait, don't you hate us? You two defeated Balos. Our curse was lifted thanks to you. Misery and I no longer have to listen to orders from anyone. I thought you were a bad guy, but it was because of the demon crown. We asked for it. You have to remember, it was Misery who had Balos make the crown. Eh? Really? I didn't know that. Yep. And now? Now? What are you going to do now? I can take you anywhere. Well, since you asked, our mission is complete, so I want to live somewhere calm with a nice view. Saw a mountain? Or a cliff? Pardon me, but, um, yes. Can I go with? Sure. 
All three of us, we can live together, for sure. Really? You can even pick the spot where we all live. But take us someplace nice. Gotcha. Alright. Hang on tight. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the true ending for Cave Story Plus. Ah, oh, man, this adventure, it was just too good. I'm telling you, it was, it was too good. It was fun going through this whole game all over again. I surprised, like, my skills actually sharpened even more than the day before. Like, before, like, I can get through this game easily, but sometimes I would have problems in certain fights. I actually breezed through this pretty much sufficiently. Well, more sufficiently than I usually do, I should say. I died, like, probably once or twice. I'm not entirely sure. I gotta... You guys gotta tell me on that. But, um... Yeah. The soundtrack is amazing. The game is amazing. The artwork is amazing. The gameplay is fun as hell. The bosses are fun to fight. Especially if you know how to kill them. You just make them look like, like total pushovers. Mm, if... You know... If maybe one day later on in the future, you guys want me to do like a hard mode run, then I'll do it on a live stream though, because I'm not I'm not gonna record that. That's um, I'm gonna <laughs> a live stream is more fun, but um, that's when uh, I have more sufficient and um internet and shit like that to actually live stream with the Agato. But other than that, that was pretty much it for Cave Story. Like it's a very short game, but it's a fun short game. It used to be free. You have to pay for it, and I don't even mind buying multiple copies. I have the 3DS version and the Switch version. So that's two copies that I bought, and I played the free version on the um, laptop because you know, Kate, there, there was a Wii version at first, but um, I didn't really have money at the time when the when I knew about the Wii version, so I just got the uh, the PC free version with the um the English patch, and it was, it was fun. Like it was legit fun. I had a hard time getting all the way to the last ending, but you know, it was pretty fun. Oh, look, they have puppies. And this is basically just showing what happened after my whole um, adventure through Cave Story, you know. I don't think this island even has a name, now that I think about it. And it's just showing you uh, the enemies' names, the bosses' names. Balfrog, Igor, Omega, Taroko Plus, Pooh Black, Monster X, The Core, Iron Head, I hate you, Iron Head, The Sisters, The Red Org, Muscle Doctor, that's his name, The Undead Core, Heavy Press, and then Balos. Hate and Madness Made Flesh. That's what Balos' description is. That's crazy. But other than that, yeah, this is the finale, guys. So, if you all enjoyed, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure to comment your thoughts down below. And I'll check you all in the next part. Laters.